this little rune tour we just got in when you first walk in it has this mirror it has like all the hangers and everything like that in there honestly this room is so so stunning this whole hotel is stunning and then in here is the bathroom and it honestly has like the best view of the city as well and then they have cute little robes it's a london house they have little slippers and then they have this really pretty vanity area with a ton of towels have a really nice walk-in shower they even included a little loofah and then they also have a bunch of little like maitlin and goats products over here there's so many sirens going on in the background right now and then coming out of the bathroom they have some water and then i also love they put a little nespresso in here which is so convenient and nice because i'm definitely going to be taking advantage of that and then they added in some little pods over here and then the windows are the best view so i didn't pay i just paid for the standard king and they asked me if i wanted to upgrade to a river view but honestly you guys like the standard king has amazing views it has a weird reflection right now but this is the view from the standard king honestly it's super pretty you can see all the buildings and then this is the bed it's really cute i love the style in here it has so many just, like fun little pieces and then it has another big window over here it has a little radio on that side table um, and then it has a little like desk area over here it has some water and it has another little seating area over here and then it has a nice big tv right across from the bed it's a stunning room highly recommend staying here everyone has been so nice it's so so clean in here and they just have like the nicest little touches i love that they have robes in here slippers the whole nine yards it feels like just such a luxury hotel but i think i only paid like 300 or something a night for it so it wasn't like super expensive compared to the four and five hundreds that i feel like hotel rooms that typically look like this are so anyways that's a little hotel room tour for you guys <laughs> Hi you guys, good morning and welcome to my Chicago vlog. So we got in last night and I just woke up, hence like the morning voice and the puffy face. Um, I also slept on my hair last night, so this is like my natural hair. It's being a little, a little wild, so we're gonna have to do something to fix that later. But um, we are in Chicago. It was an interesting <laughs> night last night. After we got here and we were waiting for our Uber to go to the hotel, I was looking through my bag and I was like, oh my gosh, like I haven't seen my vlog camera in a while because I was just using like the back of my phone to like vlog clips. And I was like, I haven't seen it in a while. Like I need to check my bag and make sure that like someone didn't steal it because I had it in my carry-on with me. So I was looking through my bag, couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I think I left my vlog camera at home. And I just feel like I remember exactly where I put it. Like I didn't put it in my bag at all. Like I made myself a note because I was trying to let it charge before we left. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I really want to vlog this trip. So I was like, I got to go buy another camera. And I'm not even kidding. I think I paid like $100 in Uber rides going all over Chicago because it was a really busy Friday night last night. And so everything was super expensive. And I was driving all over to multiple Best Buys to see like if anyone had a camera in stock. And I finally found one Best Buy that had like a Sony ZV-1 or something. So I just bought it. And then as soon as we get back to the hotel, I'm like dumping everything out of my bag, trying to find an SD card. Guys, guess what I found? This cutie right here. She was hiding underneath this little fold in my work bag that like stuff always gets lost in. I guess I didn't think to like empty out my whole bag in the airport to look for it. And so I literally went out and bought a whole other camera and I have to go return it. So then after all that, we just ordered some food because everything was about to close. So we got some food from Native Foods. I love their vegan food it's amazing they have hands down some of the best vegan food i've ever had i got their gastro pub and their fries and it's really really good and then it was kind of late and like we were super tired so we ended up just kind of going to bed last night not really doing a lot because we were super tired so that's why i'm starting the vlog this morning so good morning welcome to chicago i'm super excited for this vlog i think right now i'm gonna go make some coffee the hotel we're staying at has this cute little like nespresso machine so i think i'm gonna make a little shot of espresso because i need something to wake me up This is the view from our room in the daytime. I know I showed you guys a little bit like at the nighttime, but it is so pretty. Like, you totally don't need to upgrade to your river view if you like a city view, because this honestly has such a pretty view. But anyways, that's the little view from our room in the morning. I'm trying to think about what to wear today because 
When I asked you guys on my Instagram yesterday, I asked what the weather was like. I asked what I should bring, everything like that. And everyone's like, oh, like it's super warm. It's like some people are wearing shorts. It's t-shirt weather. Like it's really warm. Just a little bit cool at night. Like you just might need like a light jacket or a blazer or something like that. So I didn't pack like a ton of warm stuff. I brought a few outfits that had like coats on it. But when we got here last night, it was like freezing it was really really cold and i think today like the high is like 50 so it's pretty chilly which i personally love i just didn't pack for that because i thought it was going to be more warm so we might walk around and then we might have to go get some like warmer clothes i don't know we'll see okay this is today's fit i decided to just leave my hair natural i put some hair oil in it and then i'm wearing this trench coat that's actually from amazon um my new york yankees hat i'm wearing some chunky black boots and then i'm just wearing the little purse that i always wear so that's a little ootd my stomach's literally growling so let's go get some food and go walk around Okay, just got our coffee. I got a oat milk latte with, it's like a brown sugar syrup, I think, in it. So I think we're gonna sit here for a little bit and enjoy our breakfast. so well because I have these ones already. I feel like that like these this would be so cute to pair with those. Okay I'm trying to decide between these ones because I have the croissant dome hoops. So these ones are kind of like ridged a little bit. I'm trying to decide between those and then these ones that are just more of like a solid but they're smooth and they're so so cute. I feel like those would also pair so well together though so I might get both of them. The daily mini hoops on top and then Charlotte Huggies below that. Perfect. And then below that tier is going to be a polish and cloth and dust okay. bag. So you can take care of it. And then this bag. And inside, another one. <laughs> bags on bags. I love it. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I got the earrings that I was showing you guys. I'm so excited for them. You guys know I love Majori. I love these because they're more of like a short and like chunky style, which is really cute. I think it's gonna look so good if like I wear my hair back or like in a little bun. Right now we're just sitting at a little like Starbucks seating outside because we're trying to figure out where we want to go eat. Yeah, yeah. It's about like 4 p.m. Uh, we've just mainly been like walking around all day like looking at everything. It's definitely super windy. My hair is getting so tangled. Um, but I think we're gonna try to go to this place called Elephant and Vine to get like, a late lunch. And I think later tonight we're gonna go get some deep dish pizza, which I'm so excited for. So we're just like trying to like figure out where to go and wait for the Uber and everything. So anyways, that's a little update of what we're doing right now. Um, yes. All right, guys, me and my crazy hair are back at the hotel. Um, we probably got here like an hour or so ago. We walked around for quite a while, went down to like the river walk. We got blue bottle coffee, which you guys saw all that. We went to Missouri and I got the cutest new hoops. Um, and then after that, yeah, we went out to eat at Elephant and Vine. And then my phone was dead and then Austin's phone was like messing up. So we wanted to come back to the hotel to like charge my phone so that we had um, another phone just in case because we were like walking around everywhere and didn't want to like get lost and not where we were going and then like not be able to get an Uber. So we came back to the hotel, relaxed for a little bit, charged our phones, and now we're getting ready for dinner. We're gonna go get some deep dish pizza, which I'm very excited for. Um, it's a place called, what is that place called? screenshotted it. It's Polly G's in Logan Square on Milwaukee Avenue. Apparently it's supposed to be really good. Also, you guys update, my makeup stayed on incredible. It's not creasing. I feel like it's maybe like a little oily on like my T-zone and like by my nose, but I tend to get oily there anyways. But nothing is moved. Nothing is like creased or anything. I'm gonna come up closer so I can show you guys, but like not even around my nose, not even under my eyes. Like nothing, like it looks so good. I feel like it's really just a combination of that setting spray primer and then also the Kosas foundation because it looks so, so good. I might add on a little bit more mascara. Just give it one more coat and then 
my hair actually did surprisingly well today like i don't know I, I feel like it just has to be like the water or something but then again my hair has been like really good lately um but i just loved it natural all day and it's a little wild like i never wear my hair natural so it's like the first time in forever but it still like looks i feel like pretty good like it doesn't look bad um but i do think i'm gonna put it up for dinner just because it's not done so i feel like i just don't want to wear like I don't know, messy hair to dinner. But I'll figure that out in a second. I put on, I had a short sleeve shirt on earlier, but since it is a little bit cooler, I put on this black one and it's from Abercrombie. And you guys, this is like the nicest. This is the same one as the white one that I was talking about in my pack with me vlog. Um, it's a bodysuit and it's the thickest material. Like I'm not even wearing a bra with it and you could not tell. Like everything is so nice, tight and secured. And it like, it feels like shape where it like sucks you in. It really just like smooths out everything. Like this is genuinely the nicest bodysuit I have ever worn. And I'm obsessed with it. I want to get this in like every, well I guess I'm not really gonna wear any other colors besides like white and black. So I got in all the colors that I'm gonna wear, but Abercrombie and Fitch just keeps coming back and like killing it with all their products. I could just be an Abercrombie and Fitch like spokesperson at this point. Anyways, but I changed into this since it is a little bit cooler now. I think I'm just gonna wear my same trench coat um, cause we're not going to like a super nice place. Like we're just going to get pizza. So I don't feel like I need to like fully dress up. Um, but I do think I need to do something to my hair. My good old handy shark flex style. This thing is the best. I'm so glad I bought it. Okay, I'm just gonna do the little like smoothing brush attachment. Okay, but seriously though, you cannot tell me that this thing is not amazing. I just went over that like five to 10 times and now it's like perfectly smooth and straight. This thing is amazing. If you haven't bought it yet, you need to because it's selling out everywhere. And I think it's running at like four week ship time right now. So if you want it for the holidays, you want it on your Christmas list or you want to get it for someone else, you need to order this now. I'll have it linked below for you guys because this thing is amazing. It's only $250. Whereas the Dyson's like $600 and I personally like this one a lot better. That's the tea. Anyways, that's all I have to say on that. But like the difference in 60 seconds, like a straightener wouldn't even do it this fast. Okay, I feel like my hair is good for the most part, but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of dry shampoo just because wearing a hat all day really smashed it down. Um, I'm using the Way Dry Shampoo. This, I got this one maybe like a month ago and I went through a whole bottle and I'm obsessed with it. This is my favorite. It works really, really, really well and I love it. I have to make sure not to get it on my black sleeves. That would suck. Ooh, look at that volume already. This stuff works so, so well. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is gonna look cuter when I add some earrings or something. I'm gonna need to hairspray a little bit. So hopefully all these little pieces don't come flying out whenever we get the wind. I feel like that's good. Now I'm gonna go get my new earrings and we're gonna wear those tonight. Okay, got my little majority box, or bag, multiple bags. And the bottom of this bag says, you're a special kind of fine. Yeah, you guys are. So cute, I love, those are so pretty. Okay, and then last thing is some lip oil. Okay, we are ready for deep dish pizza. I'm so excited. So thank you so much. Okay, we just ordered. We decided to get the omnivore and make it totally vegan. It looks so, so good. This place is so cute in here. It's a whole vibe. It's not super busy, which is nice too, but so excited for our pizza. We're not ordering drinks, so cheers. The hydration. <laughs> a vegan last time. Yes. Thank you so much. Oh, this looks so good. Also sending us home with a giant piece of what was it pumpkin snickerdoodle yeah pumpkin snickerdoodle cake it looks amazing it's vegan we're totally gonna eat this as soon as we get home hi you guys good morning i just got up washed my face did my sink here and now i'm getting ready i think after we finish getting ready we're gonna go ahead and grab some Starbucks unpopular opinion or maybe this is a popular opinion. I don't know. I feel like this is gonna be an unpopular opinion I personally feel like Starbucks is better than blue bottle. I Don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know because I feel like blue bottle was good But it almost tasted like a little bit like watery. I don't know I got my normal like oat milk latte and I just feel like it wasn't like my favorite 
I don't know. Maybe I just like ordered the wrong thing. Maybe I just didn't know what to order. But I think this morning we're gonna go get some Starbucks. And then after that, I think we're probably gonna go grab some breakfast. So maybe go shopping a little bit. And we might go to Millennium Park and go see the famous Chicago Bean. I don't know. We'll see what we end up getting up to. Um, and I don't really have like a solid plan for the rest of the day. Like we're kind of just like figuring it out as we go, which is fun. But I think that's pretty much all of the updates I have for you guys right now. Okay, just finished getting dressed. This is my little OTD. I'm just wearing a white long sleeve from Abercrombie. I'm wearing my Adidas, and then I'm wearing my black faux leather trench coat, and then my hat and my bag that I always wear. I feel like everything that I packed to wear, it's so much colder than the outfits that I brought. Um, it's also like really windy today, so I'm glad I brought my hat because it's just a lot easier than dealing with like my hair blowing all over the place. But anyways, that's a little OOTD. I didn't really like touch up my hair that much this morning, and it's still like so straight and so smooth. I did put like a little bit more oil in it, and it's still just like so shiny and soft from the shark flex style so but let's go get some coffee got my latte I got a grande chestnut praline latte with oat milk one of my friends on Instagram recommended it or she posted it on her story so I wanted to try it it's so good um, but right now we're walking to go get bagels we're going to a place it's called Gotham bagels in South Loop but apparently they have vegan cream cheese so that sounded super yummy so that's where we're headed right now Got the bagels. I think we're gonna go find like a little park to sit at and eat them. So excited. Okay, just got to the park. We're at Millennium Park and there's like the cute little park bench. Um, we got our bagels. I just got a sesame one with a vegan scallion cream cheese. Austin got the, I think it's called the V sandwich. It's a vegan sandwich with a bunch of fun stuff on there. are 10 out of 10 they're so good is yours good yeah so so yummy definitely go to gotham bagels in south loop i know they have a few other locations too but these are like the best vegan bagels i've ever had when we were walking back from getting bagels someone asked us if we were from new york and i've never felt like more complimented in my entire life i really wanted to be like no like i live in oklahoma next to cows and donkeys but it was a great compliment <laughs> i felt I'm like yes we're gonna finish our bagels and i think we're gonna go up to the bean because we're literally like sitting right next to it um, and then there's also a little coffee shop over here. I don't know if we need more coffee, probably not, but we'll probably go up to the Bean and then walk around. I don't know what we want. Do we want to go to the Starbucks Reserve after that? Yeah. Or we could always do that tomorrow morning too, if we wanted to like go shop and stuff. I'd say tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, that'd be fun. We leave tomorrow afternoon, which I'm so sad. I feel like this trip went by like so fast so far. We should definitely come back. They're starting to put up Christmas lights and I want to come back during Christmas so, so bad. So we'll probably be back very soon. Cause it's like, I love the city. It makes me want to move here, honestly. Like, I feel like I thrive here. <laughs> I think it's called the Angelino Latte with oat milk and it's so, so yummy. Oh, I 
love this. That is a super cute blazer. Not that I need more Zara stuff or blazers, but it's so cute. Is that one? It's E9. No, I don't have any blazers like this. This is so cute. I've actually been wanting a blazer like this. I feel like I should try it on. I can't decide if I should get like a bigger size. This is a small, but I think they actually only have smalls and extra smalls, so I might have to. I don't know. I feel like it'd look cuter if it was like a little bit bigger. Like a little bit more oversized. It's a super cute jacket though. I honestly might try to get it online because that's so cute. Wait, these are so pretty too. Oh, I love this color. That's like that color in the like uh, men's coat that I got uh, that I've been uh, wanting. Uh, oh, they have hoods. Mm. I don't know how I feel about the hoods though. I like this one too. That's really a pretty color. Okay, I also really love this one. It's like a really pretty, I feel like it's not picking up on camera what color it actually is. It's like a really nice kind of brown. That's so cute. I don't know why it's like making, I feel like my camera's been making stuff like purple toned lately. I don't know why. I do like this though. That'd be super cute. Okay, I got my stuff from Zara. We're heading back to the hotel. So starting to put up all the Christmas lights and it's so cute. Oh, we totally have to come back here during Christmas because it's so pretty. Okay guys, I just finished getting ready. We're headed out to dinner. We're gonna go to a place called Plant a Queen. Um, I used the Shark Flex style on my hair tonight. I didn't like brush it through. Um, I'm like rushing because we're running a little bit late, but hey, it turned out so good. But we're going to a place called Plant a Queen and it's a vegan restaurant and so many of you guys recommended it um, when I asked you for like Chicago recommendations on my Instagram story, so that's where we're gonna go. They close at 10 and it's like 9.30, so we're kind of like cutting it close. But I did call and they said that the kitchen stays open until 10, so they like don't close the kitchen early, so I feel like we'll be okay. But I'm still trying to hurry. Um, I feel like my hair turned out so good. I'm gonna put a little bit of hair oil in it. This piece is kind of going straight. This one was so weird, like I curled it backwards, but then it like curled forwards. So I don't know, we're just gonna like tuck that behind there or something. I got this new sweater from Zara today while we were there. My phone died while we were in there, so I didn't really get to vlog the rest of it. My gosh, this makes your hair look so good. Guys, again, go get the Shark Flex style if you don't have it yet. Anyways, so I'm wearing the new sweater that I got from there. I have it like tucked down right now. It's like more of a turtleneck. And then I got this coat as well that I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna take the first tag off. Um, because it is nice and chilly outside. And I think this is so, so cute. I'm gonna put on Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. Perfect. Okay, this is my outfit of the night. Black sweater, the Zara coat, some faux leather trousers, and then my pointed toe booties. Okay, I got their kombucha mojito. It looks so good. We got the truffle fried rice, and then we also got the potato truffle dumplings. That looks so amazing. It looks so good. <laughs> Okay, the potato truffle dumplings are absolutely amazing. They're so good and creamy. And then the truffle fried rice, also amazing. And then Austin got the udon noodles, which we haven't tried yet, but looks so good. So far, like 10 out of 10, this place is absolutely amazing. Let's try some of this. This looks so, so good. Is there truffle on this too? There is, there's truffle on like- These little shavings oh. right here. Oh, yum. They put like truffle on everything here and it tastes absolutely amazing. I'm so excited for this. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah? No, like, that is so good. Try it, try it, try it, try it. That looks so good.
morning you guys we just finished like packing everything up because we're checking out this morning um we have to leave probably for the airport about like 2 45 ish so i think right now we're gonna go ahead and get some coffee i need to go return that camera that i bought at the beginning of this trip thinking that i didn't have this one um and then i think we're gonna go back to that bagel place that we went yesterday because it was so amazing and then i think the last stop we're gonna make is go to the starbucks reserve roastery more coffee and then get an uber to the airport so that's kind of the plan for today i'm going a little bit more comfy today since we are going to go to the airport i'm wearing austin's sweatshirt and then my black puffer jacket some leggings and my sneakers and I just put my hair in a low bun with my new earrings from Missouri. so anyways that's this morning's updates we're gonna go drop our bags off at the front desk and then go grab some coffee mm -hmm. 